Yeah. Uh, any questions anyone is having? Okay. So account hierarchies, uh, you can just navigate from the uh, functional area of financial reporting structure. And here you can see uh, creation of hierarchy. Again, it is a uh, optional task. That's the reason uh, we are unable to see from the required task here. Okay. So let's uh, change this from required tasks to all tasks. And here you can see we have the manage account hierarchies. So click on manage account hierarchies. Yeah, prior to that, uh, just give me a minute. I'm just going to copy uh, my value set which we have created for the India segment, uh, India chart of account structure. Because that I need to enter uh, manually. So. So let's navigate to account hierarchies. Uh, click on uh, this manage account hierarchies. So to create any hierarchy, you can create the hierarchies uh, from manage account hierarchies. Okay. And here uh, you can see this symbol is nothing but uh, creation of new hierarchy. If you want to create a new hierarchy, you can click on this create tree. So as I said, hierarchy will also call it as uh, tree. Okay. So you can create a new tree from here or even you can create from actions uh, from the drop down you can click on create op create tree option so click on create tree and then here uh, let's give some naming convention for our uh, division segment hierarchy i'm just giving uh, mg underscore Using hierarchy, okay. Name and code again. I'm going to use the same. And all your account hierarchies we are going to create under the tree structure of accounting key flex field. Okay. Accounting flex field hierarchy. So under this tree structure, we will create our hierarchy. Right. All our GL configurations we will do mostly under uh, accounting key flex field, right? So the tree structure I have selected here, accounting flex field hierarchy. Again, description, it is optional. If you want to give, you can just give this description. And then here you can see we have the uh, data source parameters. Okay. So under this data source parameters, you can see I have uh, two options here. Uh, one is accounting flex field hierarchy detail values. And the second one you can see it is accounting flex field hierarchy parent values. So I'm expanding this both accounting flex field hierarchy detail and parent values and here you can see under the uh, hierarchy detail values i have a view criteria name and bin underscore value set code and bin underscore summary flag okay so for your hierarchy detail values the summary flag will be always n right yesterday we discussed that uh, for all the parent values we will set it as yes uh, the summary flag is yes and child values summary flag will be no right so your uh, child values or the detail values are nothing but it is same so detail values we will treat our uh, call it as the child values and for all your child values the summary flag will be set it as n okay so here under this value set code we have to give our value set manually uh, with exact name what we have created okay so here I'm just selecting this division under uh, division IND COA. I'm just selecting the description of my value set, what uh, I use for my division segment uh, value set. So I'm placing here, okay? We don't have any drop down or uh, search option to search the value set. We have to manually enter that one. And then here you can see uh, below you have the hierarchy parent values. So for the parent values summary flag, it will be by default commit as why why it is nothing but it is yes and here also you have to give value set code is 
division and uh, India COA. Okay, so this is the value set we are using for India uh, chart of account structure for the division segment. Okay. So now you have to click on next so that uh, currently we are under the specified definitions. So we are creating the hierarchy definition in this uh, page. After you done with hierarchy definition, optionally you can create any labels if you want to create and also you can define any access rules. Okay, we are not going to see this too. Uh, we are not defining anything in that. So now if you want to move to specify labels, you have to click on next option. Okay. Once you click on next, okay, so the error it is pop in here because uh, once you uh, populate some data in this data source parameters, you have to save this first. Okay, now click on save and then click on next. Okay, so sometimes uh, actually we have some bug in demo instances. When you are clicking on this next option, it should move to specify labels, but it's not moving then not a problem, you can just uh, manually click on here, okay, and specify labels. So here I'm not going to give any labels. So now I'm moving to specify access rules. So here also not giving any access rules. And then you can see, uh, now we have the submit option. So I'm just clicking on this drop down of the submit uh, option. So if you want to create your hierarchies with version numbering, then you have to click on this drop down of this submit then click on submit and add version. Okay. So here I'm just giving the version number and description and note it is optional. If you want to give the description, you can just give. If not, it's not required. And then you have the effective start date, which is mandatory field. So let's give the effective start date uh, from 1st March. Fine. And then, uh, so again, you can see we are under a uh, specified definition here. And then when you click on this next option, we'll move to specify nodes. You can see uh, a new blank tree version created successfully. Click OK to do node operations. Click on and here you can see we are under the specify nodes uh, option. And from here, you can create your hierarchy. Okay. So to create a hierarchy, uh, first click on this add option. And here you can see uh, under the tree type note, uh, we have the specific value, values within a range and values from retained hierarchy. And we have the data source, okay? So from this date, I'm, I'm going with the specific value itself. And from the data source, first always we have to uh, enter the values under the parent values, okay? So select accounting field hierarchy parent values. When you select accounting field hierarchy parent values, so this is the parent value we created in division value set, right? All divisions is my parent value. So select this node from available nodes and then click on this right arrow so that it, uh, we can move this node from available nodes to selected nodes. Okay, so you have to move from available nodes to selected node, all your parent values, and then click on OK. Fine. So in the value set, we have just created a parent value and child value, but there is no relationship between the parent and child, right? So that relationship we are defining here. Now, to created uh, uh, this row, once this row is added, the parent value uh, row, select this row, then click on add. And now change the data source to hierarchy detail values. And these are our uh, child values, right? These are the uh, detail values which we created. So you can uh, move one by one and also you can just uh, move all these three uh, child values at a time by clicking on this option. Okay. So I'm moving all my uh, detail values from available nodes to selected nodes. And then click on OK. And now you can see uh, we have an uh, arrow mark symbol it is showing. Just click on this expand. And here you can see 
it has defined the relationship now all divisions is your parent value and under this these are the child values we have created and this hierarchy we created with the version 1 okay so this is how you can just create your hierarchy so process is started completed but in this way you can just add your parent and child values and once after completion of this you have to click on submit anyone is having any questions till now is this compulsory during implementation yes martin i ring it to i said we are we supposed to do this in every implementation in every implementation yes we must need to do infusion or uh, uh, in oracle business suite uh, the usage of hierarchies it may be uh, yes but here creation of hierarchy infusion application is going to play a vital role okay it's going to play very important role that should have the hierarchies because all the management people uh, they want to view the balances at summary level right so instead of generating the reports at each child value level if you want to generate a report at the all all divisions uh, parent value level then you must need to have the hierarchy if you don't have the hierarchies in your project then it is very difficult for the reporting purpose because all your balance sheet reports or the income statement reports are going to be generated at parent values level okay i will show you that uh, by searching any other existing hierarchy uh, which are created from the rapid spreadsheet we will see okay even though it is a optional task but it is mandatory that we need to create these hierarchies okay if not you are going to see lot of uh, issues in the reporting side yeah anyone else is having any other questions vamshi kartik shiva no 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 sir i am fine uh, i need to no yeah no no bin okay yamuna ma'am no no bin i am fine okay Uh, Sai Deepa, did you understood? Okay, not getting this much. No problem. So you can just click on submit here. Fine. So this is the hierarchy we created. This now click on okay. So. just by submitting this hierarchy uh, we can't uh, start use this one so we have to make this active uh, we have to activate this hierarchy then only we can use this hierarchy okay so how we can activate an hierarchy uh, which we created and what other process uh, we complete on the hierarchy creation is so here you can see this is the hierarchy we have created and if you exp expand this one you can uh, this we have created with version 1 okay and the state you can see it is with still draft status so you have to activate it if you want to use this hierarchy you are activating uh, this hierarchy the other things what we have to complete is you have to complete the audit and flatten process so i'm just clicking on this audit option so here you can see a uh, we have online audit and schedule audit if you want to schedule this one uh, you can just click on this schedule audit but if you want to audit this online you can just click on this online audit and once after completion of this it will show you the audit results so what will happen is whenever you create an hierarchy this hierarchy uh, values whatever we assigned in that it will go and sit in a uh, sbase cube okay sbase cube is nothing but it's a balances cube where all our balances uh, i can say all gl balances will store in sbase cube okay so there is even this hierarchy uh, values also will be uh, interface to your sbase cube 
so here you can see uh, the validation details the articles it is showing all this has been passed so this is the one step we have to perform so once you done with audit then you have to perform flatten so again in this flatten we are going to have the column flattening and row flattening so regarding this flattening uh, and audit whatever we are just discussing right that we will discuss in detail when we are going to discuss about uh, space cube space cube actually like uh, we have only in the fusion uh, which is integrated to our general ledger module so what happen exactly is so like whenever you post any journal which you created under uh, gl whether is it a manual journal or automatic journal will store in sbs cube database whereas in our business suit it used to store in our transactional database right but here all your journals when you post it will store in sbs cube database so what exactly that we'll just see uh, when we we'll discuss about it so once you perform this uh, just complete only uh, column flattening so let's do the row flattening even Again, doing online flattening, even for my row flattening. After performing these three activities, then only you can uh, activate your hierarchy. Without performing this, not allow you to activate your hierarchy. Then click on done. So now select this version. Click on actions, and from set status, the option to make it active from this audit and row flattening and column flattening if you click on active also it will just trigger the audit processing and uh, flattening processing and then only it will activate okay now here you can see uh, status of the tree version change to active you can just click on okay so what are we did uh, like performing audit and row flattening and the column flattening we did in a manual way right so here you can see uh, this hierarchy is activated but still we can't use this hierarchy uh, for the completion of the next step so what is the next step is once you uh, make it act active your hierarchy you have to publish this one so publishing uh, see the task we have publish account hierarchies publish account hierarchies and here from this hierarchy drop down i'm just uh using the hierarchy which we created okay so here if you can see even it will show the version 1 and you can see here uh, when i click uh, expand this drop down or uh, this arrow mark i got version 1 here okay so select this version 1 then select the check box of publish and run publish here so once after publishing now uh, this hierarchy you can use wherever uh, you want to use for allocations or for financial reporting or for revaluation jobs uh, revaluation creation anywhere you want to use this you can use only after you publish this hierarchy okay when we publish this one uh, system it will run a back end process so you can just click on this navigator and go to tools and from here just go to schedule process okay uh, it didn't run any process fine it ran here okay you can see publish sort of account hierarchy it is succeeded so this is the way you can create your hierarchy and you can uh, activate it and you can publish it so once after the publishing then only you can start use your any account hierarchy which we created so after we created the hierarchy we did a uh, manual process of performing audit uh, row and column flattening and we have activated and then we have published manually right so the same process you can even uh, do which is a uh, one sub uh, one uh, schedule process 
doing manually all those tasks you can perform with this task called account hierarchies so whatever we did manually like uh, the auditing or column flattening or the row flattening or the publishing all these things which we uh, did manually uh, why it's not giving I'm searching for a process. Search just could not provide it. Okay, here you can see we have process account hierarchies. So, what this process will do is when you click on the submit option, actually in the hierarchy, uh, when you created your hierarchy, when you're submitting this process account hierarchies. Uh, is going to do like it will submit the account hierarchies related process including row flattening column flattening and tree audit tree activation and maintain value sets process and maintain account hierarchy process and also it will publish the hierarchies so whatever the task which we did manually after we created the hierarchy all those things you can perform uh, with this single uh, process okay so i'm just clicking on okay so what are the parameters you can give here is uh, you can just select the value set for which you want or uh, you have uh, created is this someone else is also using it. so division india chart of account uh, this is what the value set name we given and the tree name uh, which we created the hierarchy and the version okay and here if you don't want to publish your hierarchy, you can just submit this by selecting no. Or if you want to publish this hierarchy, just select yes and then click on submit. So it will do the same process, the same thing what we uh, did manually from the user interface. Is it clear? Yes, Navin. Okay. Karthik, did you understand? Yeah, yeah, I mean. Okay, fine. So as we already published, so I'm not submitting this one. So let's go to home and just click on home tab. And I'm again going to now set up and maintenance. We'll just see uh, other hierarchies which has been created from the rapid spreadsheet. And uh, if you want to see the hierarchy which are defined, like uh, how we can see the hierarchy, we'll just review it. We are just seeing now how we can create, right? Very your hierarchy which you have created, what uh, what are the parent and child values you are having on, under that hierarchy, how you can see is to all tasks and go to manage account hierarchies. Okay. So from if you want to see what are the parent and child values which are created under this one, if you're trying to edit it, it will again come back to draft status. So you, you should not uh, click on this hyperlink or you should not edit it again. If you're editing, then again, you have to submit either the process or you have to perform this audit and flattening process manually. Uh, then only it will again be active. It will be draft status. Okay. And to see the values of the hierarchies, what you have created, you can just click on this action drop down and click on this view tree version. So here we have the other options like you can delete, you can edit, or you can duplicate. So we are going to use it is like now we currently we are having three child values, right? So if you're adding any other division and want to add that hierarchy here, you can just edit it and you can add. This is the manual process. Or else, if you're adding a new value under the value set, when you submit the process which we just gone through, then the value will be automatically uh, comes into this hierarchy. Okay. And this is again for the uh, deletion of this tree. And from the uh, view tree version, sorry, first I have to select the version, to expand it and then select version then go to view version and from here you can come to know 
what is your parent and child values or the relationship defined between what values you can just see from here okay so this is what we just defined fine so let me uh, show you any other uh, tree which has generated from rapid spreadsheet so i'm just searching with account so here you can see uh, account amazon underscore coa this is accounting uh, value set hierarchy which has created from rapid spreadsheet so i'm expanding this and here you can see i'm selecting the current one actions and go to view tree version so here you can see uh, in the rapid spreadsheet if you remember uh, the accounting segment we have created up to uh, parent values uh, is six levels okay like parent one parent two parent three we have created up to uh, six parents so here you can see this is the net assets and owners equity and then if you can uh, expand this one here again you can see uh, these are my again parent values you can see this is parent six and this is my parent five value and this is my parent four uh, and this is parent five and parent six so here you can see all these when you expand this one uh, you can see these are your child values these are again a uh, parent four value so this is your hierarchy detail values whatever you are seeing there this is your child values so under this revenue uh, this is a this is my one of my parent value okay under this parent five this is the uh, four triple zero one is one par uh, parent value under this i have these two child values. okay so again this is a uh, another parent value under the parent four i have and these two are my child values so in this way you can create your parent and child relationship and it is uh, easy to create hierarchy from the spreadsheet itself from the rapid implementation spreadsheet what we used so creation of hierarchies it is very, uh, very easy so creating from ui you can just create from the rapid implementation spreadsheet itself it's time to create the hierarchies from the spreadsheet instead of ui any questions from here so now in uh, do we need to create hierarchy for each and every segment or only for the account segment we need to create is based on your requirement like if you want to uh, derive the reports if you want to generate the reports for the company segment at the parent values for the company segment even we have defined the parent and child relationship right it, i can say in a single statement that wherever you have created the values with parent and child relationship in everywhere you can create your hierarchies so uh, if i want to generate a uh, one minute sorry if you uh, yeah. have created company segment values like uh, 388 and 399 for us and 488 and 499 for uk right for this independent entities we have the parent one values like 300 and the 400 So, if you want to generate the report, uh, a balance sheet for both 388, 399 for the US entity, you can generate the report at 300 parent value, right? So, to define that one, you should uh, to uh, get the report for that, you have to define the hierarchy. So, for both US and UK, if you want to generate a single balance sheet report, then again you have to uh, define a relationship between this 300 and 400 parent values. please go ahead so then <clears throat> let's assume we have defined this hierarchy for this uh, accounts okay yeah and in uh, before you told that we would be using this hierarchy for uh, revaluation and mass allocation am i correct yes so in this uh, if that is the case then uh, see this account hierarchy is having n number of accounts uh, such as expense and revenue but i believe you would be uh, x we would revalue only the assets and liability right so uh, uh, what uh, then how can we use this uh, hierarchy in uh, that is why i said you can create a hierarchy you can define for the single segment you can uh, define a number of hierarchies as i said okay so that time it is like you select only the parent and child values of the assets and liabilities 
you can use that hierarchy uh, for your evaluation process and also said you can define the same hierarchy like with the same parent and child values with the different versions even so when you want to create uh, uh, your for revaluation then you can create a uh, hierarchy specific to that and you can use that one but actually revaluation we will just uh, define for the range of limit uh, for the range of accounts right for your all assets or for your uh, liabilities so specific to that you create another hierarchy with a different versioning and system will accept that one and that hierarchy you can use for your things okay we are going to create the revaluations i will show you how you can use this uh, division uh, segment or any other segment we will take and uh, we will create that one okay, okay. thank you yeah so that's the reason i'm i just said here uh, like you can define uh, for the revaluation another hierarchy and for financial reporting you can create another hierarchy so based on the requirements you can just create your uh, hierarchies or uh, a different hierarchies you can create for the same segment even okay even for the allocations also you can create uh, to meet the allocation process you can create another hierarchy for that so i'm just showing once again uh, this uh, the company segment which we created So here you can see 500 was the topmost parent, so parent two, and 300 and the 400 is my uh, parent one values, right? So for 300, 380 and 399 was the child values which we created, and for 400 it is 488 and 499 values which are created. Why here there is no 288? Shiva. Ranganath, fine, Navin. Uh, I just ask a question: Why we are not able to see here a two eighty eight company segment? Why? Can anyone answer? Okay, well, no, 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 no. Yeah, we uh, the hierarchy is defined only for the US chart of accounts. For the U.S. entities, yeah, for the U.S. and U.K. entity only, uh, we created this hierarchy. Yes, so the rapid spreadsheet actually we uh, we used only for the U.S. and U.K. entities, not for the India entity. So India again the value which we created manually, and also for the India company segment, uh, India company value I didn't give any parent value even. That's the value we have uh, created. Okay. so this has created from rapid spreadsheet and in that spreadsheet uh, we didn't give any uh, values related to india specific okay so this is about your account hierarchies fine so i have some other process uh, like some theoretical statements so that is a configuration and So the creation process we have seen, like uh, click on the create tree option to open the uh, definition of the tree, and you can enter the name, code, and tree structures and description of the tree. This is what the fields which we populated, and then we have, let me see, then we have entered the data source parameters uh, to define the value set, uh, whether a parent or detail values are used in the hierarchy. Right? We have given. manually uh, the value sets under the data source parameters and we can even create the hierarchy by using rapid implementation spreadsheet this we have already seen and then uh, each combination of a tree or tree uh, tree version is going to publish as a different hierarchy account hierarchy in the balance cube so balance cube uh, is nothing but the sbs cube i'm talking so this we will just discuss in detail how it's going to work so sbs cube is nothing but uh, it's like it is an integration or in inbuilt integration between your gl and sbs cube and this sbs cube is an epm project okay epm is nothing but enterprise performance uh, management project uh, product which is 
and oracle product itself okay this also uh, oracle has acquired now it is oracle product epm product and so what exactly it will happen is uh, as i said in oracle ebusiness suit when you create uh, when you uh, run the posting process of in gl or when you are doing online posting for any particular journal the data is uh, used to store in your transactional database right but here uh, once we done with all gl configurations like once you done with your uh, legal entity chart of accounts uh, ledger configuration is completed we are going to submit one process called complete accounting configuration process okay so when you uh, submit this process system going to uh, create a new cube okay so it is a, uh, a cube is going to be specific to the ledger so it is like if you are creating three uh, different primary ledgers in, uh, for india us and uk entities and for us and uh, uk entity if you are creating your primary ledger the chart of accounts and calendar the same chart of account and the calendar then you are going it's going to generate only one cube okay a cube is nothing but it's a combination of the chart of account and the calendar which you are used uh, which we are using to create your primary ledger okay and for the india entity as we are going to uh, if you are going to use a different calendar then the combination of the chart of account uh, calendar is different then you are going it's going to uh, create another cube okay so basically a cube will be created when we submit this complete accounting configuration process this we will see when we are creating the ledger and yeah this process i think is better uh, we can try to understand uh, once we done with the uh, ledger configuration uh, when we are creating the journal so i can show you how it will move to cube okay so then we have seen uh, these are this process we just completed so process account hierarchies to for any hierarchy changes so it is like whenever you are editing your hierarchy or if you are inserting new values in that value set or if you are moving the values from one parent uh, from one parent to the new parent value then we must need to uh, submit all these things like you need to perform the row flattening column flattening and you have to do this audit and uh, you have to uh, publish this hierarchies okay so not only at the time of creation of hierarchy when you are uh, editing or if you are moving any values from one, uh, one parent uh, value to another parent value or if you are deleting any duplicate values so if you are doing any kind of modification in the existing hierarchies you are going to submit all this process annual way if not you can just submit a process called process account hierarchies uh, to get active and publish your hierarchy in the sbs cube so this is about this uh, hierarchy concept this we will use definitely i will show you uh, while we creating the revaluations fine so then i have a account hierarchy slide so this is what actually we have just seen right uh, these are my uh, child values nothing but the detail values and then again i have some parent level 3 level 2 level 1 so for the segment we have seen like uh, india us and uk divisions and we have just seen with the example of only one uh, parent value so, this is about the account hierarchies for any segment you can create the hierarchy and for each segment you can have multiple hierarchies and again the same hierarchy can have the multiple versions so that is about the hierarchy part and if no questions in that uh, then when we move to some small topics of this gl like account combinations and enabling accounting combinations and the short end aliases karthik yeah madam so yamna ma'am you asked straight about the accounting combinations so if you have to say in a very generic words combination account combination is nothing but uh, you are going to create a combination by using all your segment values like for example for india entity we have created our chart of account structure with five segments right so when you 
uh, a combination is nothing but you are going to track a transaction information by using the values of each of the segment what you have uh, created okay so the definition you can see here it is uh, account combinations contains a completed set of uh, segment values that uniquely identifies an account in the chart of accounts when you concatenate those values together you get a gl account combination okay so i'll show you an example so here uh, in our last example this is what we just discussed right like 388 530 so let's take uh, an exact uh, combination from our project chart of account structure which we created for india entity okay so if you see uh, for the we have created our structure with uh, company uh, company then line of business then we have a uh, division and then we created accounting segment and then we had intercompany right these are our, uh, these are the segments we used for our india chart of account structure so and i'm just taking uh, one value as a uh, example for my each segment value set that is for the uh, company for india entity we created 288 and in our business segment value i'm going to use here i'm taking uh, 10 and segment i'm taking uh, india division and i'm taking here the cash account that is 1000 or uh, 1401 Uh, which is five digits, the maximum length we use for our accounting segment value set, and my the company is two eighty eight again. So, you uh, know, the combination here is going to, uh, is nothing but if you have done any cash transaction, and that you are going to track uh, in this way, and this only we call it as uh, accounting combination. okay so combination is nothing but with unique values you are going to uh, track your combination this what uh, accounting combination so this we will call it as real accounting combination or the accounting combination we will call okay so like this uh, we can have n number of accounting combinations and also uh, with the rapid spreadsheet when we created the value sets and values it will also create a combinations in the system okay so how it will create a uh, combinations in the system we will just see so i'm just navigating to application so let's close this hierarchies and here you can see i have the manage account combinations so kartik uh, vamshi and shiva so if you can see even this is going to create a uh, combinations come from the rapid spreadsheet with the values what we have entered okay so here you can see uh, is created these are the combinations and you can see here our segments what we use for the us and uk entities that is the first segment company and then we have the line of business segment account segment then we have department intercompany and sphere so these are the six segments we use. or us and uk entity okay so here you can see all these are enabled these combinations so only the combinations which are enabled uh, we can use them to create annual journals or ledger journals or any uh, journals which are coming from any other source we can post only when these combinations are enabled okay the combination which is not enabled we cannot use that and here you can see even it, we have the account types and from date and to date then we have the preserve attribute what else we have is yes you can see allow posting so for all your child values as i said uh, allow posting will be enabled and parent values allow posting will be disabled and we have alternate account and control account so control account even we have seen uh, Understand what is the control account, and then we have the reconciliation flag, and this is our financial categories. Okay. 
so this is how a system will uh, system will create the combinations even for your uh send uk entity from the spreadsheet okay so if you want to see what are the combination that has been created uh, you can even export this one uh, by clicking on this export to excel so just click on this so like these kind of any extracts if we want to uh, take in abs we used to uh, depend on take guys right but here it's like for most of the uh, options like for most of the things we can just take the extract from the front end itself and see total we have one of five combinations it has been created and you can see all are enabled only i'm just filtering it okay uh, true is nothing but uh, this all these combinations are enabled and even it is giving with account type or uh, preserve attribute this is the combination we have okay so oh, we created so we, with the, yeah yeah sorry to interrupt you here i have a question so why would we be creating a combination with uh, if you see uh, row 2 the segment 1 and segment 5 Uh, why would we creating a combination with the same company code segment 2 and uh, no segment 1 and segment 5 if you see segment 1 is company and uh, segment 5 is intercompany right yeah so why would we creating combination with the same company code it should be with a different company code correct no i can say it is wrong because i am using the intercompany segment value also 388 only here So oh, if if you are using same company code, how can we say it's intercompany? It should be either three eighty nine or. This is a combination. Uh, we are not creating intercompany journal. Okay. If we, uh -huh. if you are creating here, if you are using here is a three ninety nine, then it will be intercompany journal, definitely, right? But if you are creating a normal journal, what is the value you will select under the intercompany segment? oh it should be zero why because it uh, we are booking transaction for the same company but not different company right it should if be if it zero. is a zero then again it will be enter company right no the debit and credit entry both should be 3881060104 and the uh, enter company segment should be zero see how the enter company uh, transaction will be created uh, enter company transaction is nothing but your debit is 388 and credit is 399 then it will be enter company it's not yes. something that uh, your seg uh, intercompany segment value is uh, 399 and again if you are uh, using 3 uh, 388 is a company segment value for your credit line then it will not be the intercompany right because your company segment values are same company transaction means if you both debit and credit of your balancing segment value is differ then if you enable the intercompany rules it Populate the intercom uh, to balance that one. It will uh, populate those two additional rows, right? Is okay, then I have another slide? question. See, uh, for some reason I do not, as we have limitations in the rapid implementation uh, spreadsheet method. I just want to create this all the setups manually. Uh, in that case, I would like to upload the value set. So, do we have any template for uploading these value set values? Yes, we have uh, FBDA templates are there uh, available for each value set you can uh, which are creating, and I will even show that I already told uh, we will see definitely one day. So okay. in this week itself, I will show uh, because as is even said that in production environment you are not going to use this rapid implementation spreadsheet because we have a lot of limitations in that right the naming conventions what we are following and everything. So yeah, value sets yes. Uh, Then, like for the uh, basically for the accounting segment value set, we'll have some thousands of numbers, thousands of values. So all those uh, in EBS we used to uh, the data loader, I think, right? From data loader, data loader values. But here uh, it's not required at all anything. We have inbuilt uh, FBDA templates are there. By using those FBDA templates, you can a number of values. even you can create the hierarchies and everything okay so we will see that definitely 
actually how this combination it has taken uh, here is for the segment what we created in the rapid spreadsheet let me just show you if i open that one okay so these are nothing but the very first value of your each segment it picked from that and it has created if you want you can just open your rapid implementation spreadsheet and you observe that one so is your intercompany question clear yeah probably i'll get back to you later uh, but you can go ahead it is very simple if from if from each segment it has taken the first value of the uh, of the segment if for the company segment which we created uh, the sheet what is the first sale value we have given 388 right so it has taken yeah i am i am aware of that process but uh, my question is in accounting terminology is this correct uh, can we use 388 yeah, in both segment be, right? 1 and segment 5 that was my oh, question yes it it is correct only and uh, oh, your uh, you. intercompany segment uh, intercompany transaction will be like uh, debit row is uh, 388 and this is be 399 then it will be intercompany right but if both 388 of your company segment and parent segment is 388 and 388 this is again a manual journal itself it's not a intercompany journal okay, okay. here is one uh, segment one and this is my segment five so this is a annual journal this is not a intercompany journal okay okay thank you navin yeah anyone has any other questions no amshi Dumna ma'am, do you have any questions in creation of combinations? Yeah, actually, I disconnected for ten minutes. I'll watch the video again. Okay, so you can see this is how you can create a combination. And when I say combination again, we are going to have some like uh, this combination actually is going to be defined by uh, what are the combinations we get from the client that we will define. And for each and every combination, what we are defining. it will have some logic behind that okay so you just cannot use any values and you cannot uh, you just cannot create a combination for each combination there will be definitely some logic and that will be a valid combination and it's like whatever the value what is available by using that value you just cannot create a uh, combination and that you just cannot say that it has a valid combination if you can see here uh, this 288 10 india division and this cash account and uh, this intercompany segment value 288 i'm saying this is my valid combination okay if i create a, another combination like 288 and 20 and then usa division using here some other uh, Cash account like one double one four zero two and two eighty eight in the company segment value. I will say this is my invalid combination. I'll just explain you here uh, that I'm just saying it is India company segment value, okay? And ten also I'm just giving is my uh, India line of business segment, fine. And this is however India division, and then I have one four zero one is my a uh, cash account which i am using for the india bank accounts okay assume that uh, 140 span i am using for the india bank account and however this intercompany uh, 288 is again an india uh, company value itself okay so this combination when i create yes it is valid because i am using all the values related to india but here if i can say this line of business 20 belongs to us uh, Line of business segment value, okay. Then I should not use uh, U.S. line of business segment value for my India uh, company, right? If a general accountant or the end user wants to create this kind of combination, which is invalid one, because twenty, I want to uh, uh, client want to use the twenty line of business segment value only for the. Uh, only with the 388 uh, company value which is the infra uh, corporation 
but here if you're using this uh, that uh, 20 line of business segment value with 288 that is not correct right hope you are understanding what i'm saying yes yes no okay so but here still it is like it is invalid combination but still an accountant if he wants he can create this combination or not anyone can answer i'm saying 20 is uh, is a line of business segment value of us entity and uh, an accountant who is in india uh, who is working in india entity or creating a journal for the india primary ledger with a 288 balancing segment value and he is using 20 usa line of business value will it be valid or invalid or an accountant can create or not the system will not stop uh, until we uh, if at all we if he defines cross validation rules then it will stop if not system will not stop he can go ahead and use yeah system doesn't so, know whether 10 or 20 is correct or wrong so we can very well use yes so if an accountant or the end user anyone who wants to create they can create the combination as per the uh, wish what is the kind of combination they can they want to create they can create it and if you want to restrict that there are two ways uh, one way is while creating the chart of account structure instance we have enabled the allow dynamic insertion checkbox right so if you enable that one then it means you are giving the access to the users that or you are allowing the users to create any uh, desired combination whatever they want okay so if you are disabling that one then an accountant or the end users they cannot create the new combinations and what you will do is you will, you will first define all the valid combinations from this page account combination page and only the existing valid accounting combinations only can be used by the accountants but from these existing accounting combinations if they want to create any other combination uh, system will not allow them to use that and when they are trying to post it it will say it is an invalid combination okay so there are two ways you can either uh, disable the allow dynamic insertion checkbox and you just uh, pre uh, predefine the valid combinations only that can be used by the accountants or other way, another way is you can enable that allow dynamic insertion checkbox create the cross validation rules uh, which can restrict to uh, not to uh, create invalid combinations for example, it's like i can create a cross validation rule uh, stating whenever i'm using a company segment value is 288 it should be created only with the uh, line of business segment value is only 10 if anyone is trying to create 288 uh, any journal by using 288 with 20 line of business segment value system should give an error okay so these are the two ways you can restrict the end users to not to create a journal or any subledger transactions with invalid combinations so we will create the cross validation rules that time i will show you so like this, we are going to have the valid or invalid accounting combinations uh, we are going to get even these things uh, will get from the business itself and then uh, the one more feature what we are having is you can uh, apart from the rapid implementation spreadsheet if you want to create the combinations uh, you can create manually from this ui just by clicking on this add option so here you can just see okay, here i can enter the values manually and i can just uh, create this combination so creation from ui it may take some time definitely so the another way is we have the creating spreadsheet option. So click on this creating spreadsheet option and from here itself, uh, from here also you can create your combinations. So how you can create is, so it will uh, trying to connect to your application. So just click on enable editing. And here you can see, this is an inbuilt uh, spreadsheet with our Oracle application what we're uh, accessing now. So you can see this is the URL we are using. So it's asking us to uh, like, do you want to connect? Then click on yes. 
and log in with the user who is having the access to create the combinations nothing but the application implementation consultant user login and i'm in so i'm just logging in with uh, 99.lucy user given the credentials and it's invoking the action from the application <coughs> and here you can see i have what are the segments we have here okay so these are our segments company lwb account department in the company and square one so just give me two more minutes i will just insert two combinations and then you'll find the position okay so here it is like you are not going to enter or populate any data manually you just need to tap it twice in the field once you tap it twice in the field here it will give you the values so currently we are in, uh, Select the uh, 388, which is US company value, US Infra Limited. Then I have line of business. Okay, I'm selecting 20. So for each segment values, you can just uh, you can get from this. You can select those. And then you can even copy this and uh, to the another rows and uh, any particular value. If you want to make changes, you can just make change for that value even. Okay, I'm selecting uh, default department and intercompany again. I'm just selecting here 388. Okay, and this is my spare value. So it's like uh, the maximum number I can say here is uh, up to 10,000 rows, like up to 10,000 combinations you can create and you can load these uh, combinations into your application, fine. So here you can see wherever you have the data, you will have this uh, the triangle mark which is showing here. And this is error message column. If any data is wrong in this, any invalid value if you're trying to load, like uh, if you have disabled this uh, 388 intercompany segment value, then if you're trying to load it, it will give that error message here. And then I'm now trying to load this one. So how you can load is you can just click on this submit option. Okay. So here on failure, continue to upload the subsequent rows. If you're having the multiple rows and if anything is failure, then other rows can you, you want to upload or not? You can enable the checkbox and download all rows after successful upload. If you want to download the rows after successful upload, you can enable even this checkbox. If not, just click on OK. And here you can see it has, uh, this process has been submitted. This is the process ID it is generated and then click on OK. You can see uh, I didn't give an error message and the row has inserted successfully. Fine. So you can query this row now from your manage account combinations. So here we have uh, these many combinations are available. So if you want to search the combination uh, which you're looking for, just go to advanced, click on the advanced option there and then go to add fields so i'm just trying to search the uh, the combination which i have created okay so i'm going with company then i will just go with uh, i'm adding another field of account and what is the other different value i used is line of business segment value is 20 okay so i'm going with my lob segment okay. so company i given it is uh, 388 so if you want to see like any combination which is valid or invalid, if you're having the 10,000 rows in this combination page, then you can just see that particular combination, whether it's a valid still or invalid combination. And that you can see in this way, you can just search with any of minimum three uh, segment values. So the account, what we used is used double one zero one zero. Go for search. 
you can see it's loaded including the financial category so this is another way you can create your combinations by using the spreadsheet any questions so uh, in the real world like uh, these combinations will be given by client and we are doing it combinations yes combinations they will give uh, yeah because combinations what are the combinations they are using uh, that given by client itself or even we can create and we can ask them but most of the cases it is like the combinations because business only will have the much uh, awareness and knowledge on uh, what combination they are using right so on their requirement we will create the combinations it is like they will give the excel sheet to us a dot csv file if it is bs and that we used to load uh, by using the data loader but uh, we can just load by using this spreadsheet if you are uh, not going to enable the dynamic insertion checkbox then we may need to load these combinations but if you are enabling the dynamic insertion checkbox then you no need to uh, define these combinations because whatever the combinations created by the users that will they can create without any restrictions right okay. but if you are implementing the combinations uh, if you are going to load then that data you are going to get from the client itself because which is valid combination which is not valid combination can be known by the client side it team itself okay Amshi, am I right? Yeah, but I have one question, Navin. Yeah. Uh, this is regarding your statement uh, that client would be giving all the existing combination, but uh, this being a new system, uh, how would be client knowing uh, all the valid combinations? Uh, when we are going live at the time of go live, probably at that point of time, this is a new system to the client, and uh, the client may also be. Uh, you may not be aware of all See, the system the is new to them but whatever the uh, current uh, application or the tool where they are tracking their transactions yeah you know what what values they are using right like for the uh, which uh, see these are really if i have to say whatever the uh, accounting values what are you using those mostly will use the same across any project if clients if they want to use the different then that is fine uh valid combinations when i say the not based on the values based on the account types or any attributes i can say okay i mean thank you okay yeah anyone else is having any other questions and i would like to know if uh, others are okay if i ask some questions or if they are getting distracted then i can take my questions offline with you not a problem you can just stay back for uh, oh you are fine mom um, see up the session here yeah mom see can ask any questions no anyone can ask any questions <laughs> okay thank you hmm yeah no problem in questions okay you can just ask what are the questions you have and yeah okay so for today uh, this is the topics i just want to cover uh, we gone through it so uh, it for today from my end so if anyone is having questions if you want to ask you can just go ahead and others if you want still if you want to stay you can stay no problem for me yeah so navin uh... if possible can you show us how to upload that uh, values uh, using templates the reason i don't want to use a rapid uh, spreadsheet template mm. i just want to practice this so just google it Okay. So uh, you are going to get value set upload apps diffusion. How to import?
Today you Google it. Uh, if not, uh, tomorrow I will share it to you. Okay. Okay, Navin, I'll take it forward from there. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Navin, I think we will have a class for this FBDA, right? Definitely will have, but uh, he uh, wants to do practice, so that's the reason I'm just. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I will show you how we can load it. We'll get the templates actually, even from the Oracle site also. We can just uh, get that one. Yeah, anyone is having any other questions? No? So, uh, you, it's like, uh, you just try to search. Uh, if you don't get the template, tomorrow definitely you will search. One minute, I think we got it. FPDA template for cloud service contracts in R13. Okay, now I think they're restricting. Earlier we used to get uh, even from the Google. But should get somehow. Mm -hmm. Can okay, I mean I, I have access to Metalink? Probably I can search from. Yeah, you can search and uh, most not tomorrow, but day after tomorrow I will show you how we can load the values. Okay. Sure, thank you, Navin. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Then. Uh, if no other questions, we can wind up the class here. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nine. Yeah, thanks again. Bye bye.